What's up guys, it's Freeman, welcome back to another Today I'm going to be talking about a video from a channel from a guy who I very much respect because this guy lays it out, not just about dating relationships, but also about women in a way that will, let's just say he has left me on the floor in stitches so many times because what he said is so true. I think he says like, a man should put a woman below his dogs. <laughs> It's like when you when you go out on on a trip, you should take your keys, your wallet, and your woman. <laughs> it's just wow. It's just a quick note on this before everyone starts yelling misogynist. The main reason why I say this is because the less of a priority you make them, the more successful and more driven and more on your grind you can be, which as a consequence makes you more attractive. No one likes a needy guy. But today he he came out and he said something. And I talked about a topic that obviously is near and dear to me because I've been doing it for a long period of time in a way that I believe is very, very typical for a lot of people who look at this from the outside. Now, I do not think that AMS practices NoFap. He's actually openly admitted in the video that he hasn't really looked into it at all. Or he hasn't really watched any, any, any sort of videos. And uh, just to set the record straight, I agree with a lot of what he says. I, I, I love his content, but there are some things he says in here that I need to talk about. <laughs> oh, that's hot. A loyal patron supporter that wanted to know my take on semen retention. Oh, guys, uh, let me just, let's just be real. I'm just going to be blunt, honest with y'all guys. In, dating, in the dating industry, in the fitness industry, in the financial industry, there's always going to be sharks who want to take advantage of people's laziness and not, and being naive. Do y'all guys understand that? This is actually something that I wholeheartedly agree with, especially in the in the fitness industry as well, or especially from my own and personal experience, the natural health industry. Every single year, there is some new gimmick that comes out that is either like the next best thing or do this and you'll lose all this weight. And you, I think everyone's seen those adverts, like one trick that one trick that your doctor doesn't want to know and it's, it's got a picture of like a, a latex cucumber being being fed into like the mouth of a sloth or something but it's the same thing in this as well because what i found is that there are a lot of people who are making a lot of claims and one of the main problems is is that so many people are into panaceas they're into one thing that can take them away from all of their issues it is a bane of mine especially when you're trying to do natural health stuff as well because once you tell people that I'm sorry, it's also about like discipline and you have to also follow up with a the lifestyle, they tend to check out. But I think he's definitely on point with that. There's always going to be people that's doing it. Now, a couple of years ago, the, the hot thing was no fat. What well, you know what? Let's go back even before that. You had the PUA guys trying to teach guys how to basically fake confidence and go up and approach women like they confident. For all you guys, that's all a PUA was. Taking a low self-esteem guy and teaching him how to have swag when he go up and approach a woman like he's not nervous and to come across like he's confident in himself. That's all PUA was. Teaching guys how to fake confidence. Now, again, I also agree and sort of disagree as well. I was never really into the PUA stuff. I, I did buy the, the game. I've never really gone into it, mainly because I sort of uh, saw what he's talking about. I was like, I I'm learning these techniques, but I'm not really becoming the kind of person who could just do it sort of naturally, which is very much AMS's technique, where it's like, look, you know, you have to get on your ground, you have to do the things that you need to do. But a lot of the PUA stuff, especially a lot of the early RSD stuff, did kind of feel like you're sort of faking it. The only side point to that is if you go out and do cold approach, there is nothing better for getting used to failure. There is nothing better for getting over your fears. I like really, if you can face it and you have a fear of interaction, like cold approach is like one of the hard mode methods that is one of the most effective. But again, like a lot of men don't really graduate from that and they get a huge repertoire of things that they should say or like certain catchphrases and they, they never really develop themselves. 
I think all those PUA guys now, I think they driving Ubers. <laughs> uh, and, y- and y'all guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. I ain't got to say their name and don't put their name in the comments. I'm just going to delete it but because I ain't trying to start no wars. But y'all guys know who the fucking big PUA guys was. Yeah, they're like five secret. Buy my five secret techniques and you will find out how to not be lonely anymore. Now they all, they all done deleted they did, uh, dating videos and now they driving Ubers and delivering pizzas. Okay? Because guys... Uh, I blow this self improvement shit up, and that shit ain't working no more. So either either they was gonna become self improvement, teach self improvement, or uh, go drive Ubers. And I think they all driving Ubers right now. Uh, I think they got Uber channels. All right, and so that went by the wayside. All right, then we had the big no fap thing that went on a couple of years ago, where no fap blew up, and guys coming over. Yeah, yeah, it worked. It worked. Now we got the semen retention. Okay. What, Aren't they the same thing? What's going to be next? The eyeball retention? <laughs> this is what I told y'all guys when I said to the guys about the water bottle method. What they do is they'll sit down and they'll think of some dumb shit. Because you is fucking lazy. You don't want to fucking do no self-improvement. You don't want to get on your grind for three years. You don't want to get your fat ass in the goddamn gym. That's too much hard work. Okay. Here goes a shortcut. Semen retention. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So what I have noticed, especially in a lot of the darker side of the Muay Thai community, is you have so many men who are so angry and bitter that they kind of want to encourage all other men to basically sit on their ass, don't do anything. And also practice nofap at the same time. It's like you hear read comments like we should all just hit the gym and then just go around ignoring women and this, that and the other. But it's like it's kind of putting the cart before the horse. It's, it's the same thing, the same difference between getting on your grind and actually doing something. Now, if you are actually doing something, they become a lower priority when you are on your grind. I find, and this is in my experience as well, the more I wanted to get into a relationship, which was directly correlated with how lost I was, either how sick physically, how sick psychologically. And this is my own experience. This is another important point. I don't necessarily agree with him when he says that there are people that come out and they say, I'll try this one thing. For the simple fact that it's not buying it, like no fab, there, there are no dating courses for no fab. There are no like, you know, places where you can go and money you can pay for someone to teach you. It is literally just watching other people's content that you watch for free and then trying it out yourself. This is why I believe it's, it's different from a lot of the POA stuff and different from a lot of the, you know, you know, fitness tips and tricks and courses that you see that, that come out and that are nonsense because experientially, it works. And just speaking from my own experience, in the last, I'm, I'm on NoFab Day 10. When I relapsed, I fell into a very, very deep depression. I was lost. I didn't want to do anything but video games. And there's a direct correlation with how productive I am and how much I can stick to this challenge. That's a personal experiential phenomena that someone can't sell you on a course. Someone can't sell you, oh, use these five trips and do this, that, and the other. You get that stuff for free. Guys, I haven't read up I, before I did this video. I haven't read up on it because I already know it's bullshit. I'm not about to go read and watch ten videos on YouTube to to, to find out if it's bullshit. I um, so dude, I love you, man. I love your content, but this line of reasoning, I can't. I can't. I I just can't. It's like I I can't, except for things like flat Earth. There are very few things that I can sit and say, like, I am going to give my opinion on something that I know nothing about. And if I do do that, because it's okay to do that, but admit it and say, like, look, you know, you know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. And so you may not need to take me that seriously. But when there's this sort of like, oh, I'm just going to comment on something. I've never tried it. I've never done it. I've never read up on anything. But it sounds stupid. And then being really invested in that. It's it. I, I can't. I can't. I know it's bullshit. Y'all know it. Well, some of you guys know it's bullshit. Okay? If any of you guys, if you guys, guys ask me, you, if you want to know how to make some money in this world, you want to know how to get rich, busting your ass. I can see what he means, though, because I believe that he's coming from it from the same position as a lot of the other previous, you know, because after you've fallen for one scam, you, you tend to look at everything else as sort of a scam. 
And so it's, it's, I, I can see why it's very easy to sort of dismiss this without actually trying it or doing any, any sort of research because we live in an age of scams. I mean, just talking about the natural health side of it as well, like it's a different trend. Cod liver oil is a big trend. Then ascorbic acid, vitamin C is a big trend. Then low fat is a big trend. And lo and behold, research starts to come out that actually shows that all these things may not be as good as for you as you thought. But once you, especially after you've invested millions of pounds in it, it's very, very difficult to actually undo that train. And so people get jaded. It's like the, the freaking um, no man's sky phenomenon where everyone just gets hyped about something and you just end up being jaded because the, the product that you were sold is not the same thing. But I have to go back to my last point as well, is that this isn't some course. This isn't something you can buy. This is something that you can try for yourself. And uh, just going through, through, the, through the comments from some of this video, it helped me gain more discipline. You know, it's, it's something, it's, it's not something, look, NoFap has honestly been a potential life server. It's, it's not a course you can buy. It's a practice that's been done for year upon year upon year and confusing it with something that's like the next Atkins diet or, or the next like crazy thing. I'm actually gonna skip the next few parts because he basically says the same thing over and over again, which I don't disagree with. And it's that if you really, 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 really want to do well in life, you have to grind. And I, and I believe that that's actually the main point throughout most of his video is that he's trying to warn people, do not look at this as if it's a panacea. And I have to reiterate my last point that the human mind, and especially people these days, because we're in such an instant gratification culture, we love it when people turn around and say, oh, hey, have tried this new one thing that actually, you know, fixes everything. And uh, also from my own experience, I find that because I work in a health and supplement company, there were people that would come in and they'd say, oh, hey, I want to lose weight. And they'd be carrying a bag of bloody McDonald's. And I just have to hold myself down from just grabbing the bag and whacking them with it because it's like you don't want to let go of these instant gratification quick fix things and move on i'm sorry but like grinding is hard and that's the main message that i believe is here here's the thing right the semen retention is just like the no fail all right and some of y'all would even say about the self-improvement right it's a placebo it could be a placebo to make you feel more confident all right, so in you see, this is why he would really, really benefit from actually looking into some of the science behind it because it's not a placebo. And in fact, what's wrong with placebos? I, I have often said, and again, I'm not saying that NoFab is a placebo, but if, if something is a placebo, who cares? Like if you paint your entire room red and it turns out that science says that it tricks your brain into being more confident or like more productive, who cares? Like, if it works, it works. I, I, I believe that people, there's almost a negative connotation to a placebo. This is kind of a side topic, whereby people think that if something is a, is a placebo, then it should just be discounted straight away. But if anything, I actually believe that a placebo is actually, like, huge. Like, just the very phenomena of a placebo proves that you can literally change your physiology and your mind with your belief systems. And this comes when you have studies of, um, for example, two people who are taking uh, a pill to improve hair growth, and uh, two people, uh, two groups of people, and one of them gets a placebo. And what you find is that because they believe so much in the pill, their hair stops falling out and their hair starts growing. That is the power of the human mind and of, and of the placebo. So I don't know why people discount it all the time. Anyway, um, it's not a placebo. Like it's, it's, this is, this is the thing, a lot of, these channels and these people wouldn't be talking about it if it didn't have any benefits or any effects. I wouldn't be talking about it for so long if it didn't have such a massive and sometimes within a day impact on my life, whereby I can directly track my productivity, I can directly track my, my mood based on this one thing. And if it turns out to be a placebo, who cares? It works. <laughs> you know, it's like you've, you've, you've got the cheat code. In other words, with the semen retention, as in attracting more women because i'm pretty sure they're the same thing if you genuinely feel it if you genuinely feel more confident because somebody told you some scientific you know they do their cherry pick some data and shit tell me something you know if you hold your semen and all this shit for two weeks and then you you, you, you grow hair on your nuts and then you're more masculine and women just drop to their knees and start sucking your dick yes. I, I actually think that women don't really like hair on their nuts but he's totally true there is a lot of bullshit there is a lot of BS signs out there. But the way that I like to justify it is, 
All you really have to do is look at the nutritional content of your load. Look at what it's full of. If you don't believe that it works, look at what's in it when it, when it leaves your system. Where does this come from? It comes from you and your body has to replenish it. It has to pull nutrients out of your system to produce more of it because one of your primary roles is to reproduce and obviously as a man you're more or less horny all the time and so there's always going to be a flow of nutrients down there to be able to keep make sure that there's enough nutritional content to reproduce so it makes sense therefore that if you actually were to stop and you were to actually retain it your body wouldn't have to keep continuously pulling out nutrients from the system because if you don't do it all of the seminal fluid basically gets recycled in the body. Sperm doesn't just like suddenly get born and then, you know, when it's needed. No, it's always, it's in a constant process of death, recycle, rebirth. And so if you're constantly recycling it, the, the body doesn't need to continuously pull out from the system these things. This is why I find that you really don't even need to go that deep into the research. You, you just have to look at what's in it where does it come from and where am i getting it from and if i'm doing it all the time and my body has to keep re replenishing it will it cause problems i know they cherry pick the data and shit. you don't got to tell me right but the thing is it's a placebo and so people feel it and so when you go up and you approach women if you generally feel like hey i feel better Again, magnesium and zinc directly contribute to uh, confidence and uh, your ability to stay calm, especially magnesium. Like when you have that knot in your stomach, when you're really, really anxious, that's magnesium being burnt. And in that aspect, I like it. I like it. The issue I have with it is you guys are looking for a shut shortcut to not do the fucking self-improvement and y'all letting people take advantage of you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's It never ceases to amaze me just how much no one really wants to do the work everyone just wants one trick one tool one thing i'm gonna start to wrap it up here because this video is getting a bit too long but basically the bottom line is is that it's a it's a tool it's an it's an arsenal it's a it's it's a tool in your arsenal <laughs> it's a tool in your arsenal <laughs> Sorry, I'm five on the inside. Um, it's a tool in your cabinet. It's something that you have to combine with other things for it to actually be successful. I still wholeheartedly disagree that it is, it, it, it is a placebo for the simple fact, the simple basic level of logic that you can't keep producing minerals for free. If you keep draining your system of minerals, that's not going to help you at all. And it's going to cause problems like low confidence, like poor mood, like even a poor immune system, like poor performance in the gym, because these minerals come from somewhere and they come from you. Now, there is also a big question about, well, what's the difference between sex and no fat? Because I find that a lot of people who are very, very much against it have a very healthy sex life. I personally believe that sex is actually kind of different, unless you are actually a sex addict and you're having it like twice a day or three times a day. Um, it's a totally different bleep storm of chemicals in the brain when you're with someone else. As compared to when you're with yourself, I think everyone knows that when you are with yourself, it's a giant elevation and then you sort of like take stock of how fucking lonely you are. But apart from that, you know, it, it still works. It works. And it's been working for a lot of people. And human beings, although we like to think that, oh, we do a lot of useless stuff like all the people who came before us were just silly because they were taking these herbs and praying. Human beings in general did things because they worked. Like most people, if it had absolutely zero effect, people would stop doing it. And even if it was a placebo, if it works, it works. But just like AMS says, you still have to do the work, man. Like, I'm not just doing NoFap and just thinking, oh, this is gonna change my life. I'm like, I, I'm doing NoFap, I'm doing exercise, I'm doing fasting, juicing, I'm doing I'm doing this all sorts of other work. Like no, it is not. 90% of the comments are literally pro semen retention and pro NoFap. In fact, it's been used by many, many people throughout time and especially many professionals like boxers and, and things like that. And once you actually try it yourself, you will actually get that anecdotal experience that, that will mean that you can make up your own mind. It's the same thing with what I'm saying. Don't just believe me when I'm, don't just believe what I'm saying. I've tried it, I, I have experience, I have the receipts, but you have to try it for yourself to actually see whether or not it's actually for you. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for today, guys. It has been a nice different edition for this. Can't enough of that 10. Let's see how long I last. Peace.